before us is greatly advanced by an assembly which reflects as accurately as this one has the problems of our swiftly changing world. The world profits by this annual reminder of those things which must be thought about and worked on during the months between our sessions. Here too we face day after day a tragic reality of our time, the isolation of a small group of our members from the rest of us. I pray this will not always be. Throughout this session I have watched the signs of a change in attitude. I have been disappointed, but I am not discouraged. All of us must keep on hoping and working for a change, constantly asking ourselves if we are doing all we can to make clear our desire to live in peace and friendship with all our neighbors in the world community. As we separate, it is right that we should be gravely concerned with the gaps that still separate us from each other, with the problems we have left unsolved. Time will help us find answers which now elude us. Mr. Yusuf, I want to ask you to